Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is finally here. The day we have been waiting for FIFA 22 Ultimate Team is here. And today we get to start our FIFA 22 journey with the web app with EA Play and getting inside our Ultimate Teams for the very first time. So what I want to do today is go through just again some last minute tips and tricks and things to watch out for today on day one of FIFA 22. Two. Now, a couple things I want to touch on just as of note. I showed you guys yesterday just very sneakily, but a lot of you guys didn't catch on. We talked about it today in the Twitch stream. I actually was gifted a copy of FIFA 22 by EA Sports FIFA. I am not a game changer, but they did get me a copy of FIFA early. So I got the full game version. I'll be streaming live this morning, um, like four to five hours before the content drop on my Twitch channel. Check that link down in the description. We'll be streaming there. I'll be starting my ultimate team. I wanted to wait today until you guys got on the game as well. I wanted to wait and not start early. I wanted to wait until today and have a big release day party in the stream. So we are going to be doing that. And as of course, you can see the new graphics around. We have a nice fresh rebrand for FIFA 22 as well. But let's get into it because, again, there's a lot of things to watch out for today. Again, we've done all the prep work. We've done a lot of the research. But about getting into our ultimate teams, we still need to think about and keep centrally are just what are our goals and what are the main things that we are going to be doing today when we get on the game. The number one thing I'm going to say today is whether you're getting on through the web app, whether you're getting on through EA Play or a combination of both, just have fun, right? Don't stress about it. Roll with the punches. If you get a good pack, if you don't, roll with it, right? Because this is a marathon and it is not a sprint. The stuff that you pack today from advanced SBCs, the stuff that you don't pack, right? You don't get anything sick. You, let's say, you know, you're really kind of struggling to trade first day. You're not sure what to do. It feels like it's very stressful. This is a marathon, not a sprint, right? We have a whole year ahead of us. Yes, you want to get off to a good start. Yes, we've got a lot of videos on the channel that have talked about how to do that. But again, just remember the basics that it's all about having fun, right? Get some cards that you want to have fun with. Look at some cheap beasts. Get some of those cards. Start a team. If you have EA Play, play a few games, right? Have fun fun with your ultimate team incorporation today that's the number one tip that i wanted to give out today now again since it is a very interesting day with the web app let me just refresh this just to make sure that it didn't magically go live okay it didn't we're good a lot of people are going to be on this page today refreshing to see when this web app goes live now we think it's going to be between 4 to 6 p.m uk time again that's like the normal content drop or two hours before some people are talking about soft releases uh but i really doubt that there would be too much of that so EA Play, the web app should be releasing in that 4 to 6 p.m. UK time frame, whatever that time is for you. Do the math with the uh, time conversion or whatever. Um, and that's going to be the start, right? What's going to be very interesting, again, and we've talked about it before, is that today with people getting on the game, you're going to have, of course, the web app, right? But people are also going to be able to buy FIFA points. There's going to be a lot of supply day one that we normally don't see. I think that's also going to get a lot of people's coins totals up faster than what we're used to as well. So I do expect to see, again, prices today, maybe a little bit of supply right away, but a lot of prices are going to go up. I know a few prices right now of cards that are on the market in, um, in FIFA 22, just from watching other game changers and stuff that have the game. Um, I, I have seen some of the player prices and there's a lot of prices out there that are very, very cheap. There's also seemingly ones that I think are pretty expensive. Now, one that's kind of cheap, right? Just to kind of get this out there, you're just gonna see a lot of cards like this Timo Werner, 84 rated, one of the fastest strikers in the Prem. He's like 70,000 coins right now on the PlayStation market on FIFA 22. Probably what I would expect to see from a card like this today is he's gonna get supplied in the first couple of hours when the first people get on the web app, when the first people get on the EA Play for the first time. He's gonna get packed a little bit. He's gonna get listed up. He's going to go down in price. And then after that, people are going to get those coins from selling other cards, from quick selling cards. Of course, you know that when you quick sell cards, you get coins, right? People opening packs. Since we have FIFA points being spammed today as well, that's what's bringing coins onto the game. This Timo Werner is probably going to shoot up in price. I would watch a lot of cards on this market. I would watch a lot of them because some of them are pretty low once you get on the game. I mean, Footbin is not going to be working. In my opinion, I don't think Footbin worked last year. I would be very curious to see if Footbin works today, but I doubt that it would be 100% up and working right away 
at the start of the game. So what you might have to do is check between foot bin and foot whiz, or just start adding cards to your transfer targets when you're inside of the game. That's gonna be one of the most helpful tips I can give you today is add cards to your transfer targets so that you can kind of get their price down, right? You can say, okay, this Holland card, um, who might get a team of the week today, we'll talk about that in a second as well. Let's say this Malin card selling for like 4,000 coins. Okay, now I'm seeing him at 5K, I'm seeing him at 6K. You know, like how many pages of supply do we have here? Is he gonna keep going up? And just kind of so that you can document yourself and know where players' prices are, you've got 50 spots on that transfer targets, right? Use them. Use those spots on the transfer targets, and uh, that'll help you have a good reminder of where some of your players' prices are at that you want to maybe trade with or buy for your team uh, before Footbin and before these other websites are actually pulling data from the game because they probably won't be pulling data right away. It's going to take them a bit, um, so don't count on being able to use Footbin or FootWiz right away. Also, with the SBCs, don't count on being able to do um, squad building solutions or get squad building solutions from Footbin or from FootWiz. Now, I don't know if they have SBCs on FootWiz. They do. Let me see if they have them pushed live. They do not. There's no SBCs pushed live on Footbin or FootWiz. So, if there's no solutions in here, solution trading is just going to kind of have to be top the top most popular nations, maybe like France, Brazil, England, Argentina, Portugal. You're going to have to go through and look through some of those nations as people complete the SBCs by themselves. Some people won't even complete SBCs until there are solutions posted. So you might not be able to solution trade right away with that. But of course, what the what the idea kind of is today is if you can get some coins, whether it's through quick selling players, opening your packs, or whatever it is, if you can get some coins, some of these cards are going to be stupid, stupid cheap, and they're going to be rising up as people start to buy them for their teams, as people start to invest in them, as they get coins uh, on this market. Now, I've already picked out a couple of favorites that I'm going to be looking at today when I get on the game, but of course, as you look around the market, add stuff to your transfer targets. Definitely keep an eye out for that sort of stuff. Now, speaking of a Wednesday, it is Team of the Week day. So, with like we just mentioned with that Erling Holland card, what you're going to really want to be careful for is if EA tweets out Team of the Week early today or if it is quote-unquote leaked, which does happen on Wednesdays, one thing that I did in FIFA 20, it was the beginning of FIFA 20, is the Team of the Week was announced before it was actually released. So, let's say Vinicius is in Team of the Week or Holland is in team of the week today their cards are on the market already because their gold versions are in the game but their gold versions would be out of packs for the next week if they're in team of the week if it is a desirable card or an sbc fodder card that would be like a great card for a early on squad building challenge like the advanced sbcs what you can do and i did this in fifa 20 is you can buy these cards that are going out of packs now a lot of people wow we have some prices on footwiz hold up I just saw this. We have some prices on Footwiz. Erling Holland's card is 170,000 coins on PlayStation. That's very interesting. Um, okay, so let's say Holland is in Team of the Week today. If his card, his card might go a little bit lower right away if people get on the game before 6 p.m. when the Team of the Week is out. That could be an incredible investment because Holland is very hyped as a very good striker in this game. I think 170K might be a bit too cheap. His inform is going to be very rare, ultra expensive, and people are going to want to get their hands on that card. That could be an investment for you, right? Martial is 16K. That is way too cheap in my opinion. Again, Malin, 5,000 coins. Timo Werner was 70K. So, okay, never mind. What I said about the prices, it looks like FootWiz has the prices. So refer to FootWiz first today and then maybe go to FootBin if you need to. Richarlson, too cheap, 14,000 coins. That is too low in my opinion. Lukaku, 95K, too cheap. Kessie, 39,000 coins, too cheap. Wow, some of these prices I'm seeing are very interesting. Rudiger, 10K, I think that's a bit cheap as well. Salah, 650. Also, what you're going to see is some of these cards are, are too expensive. I think Hakimi at 170K is too expensive at the moment. He's probably going to get supplied a bit, drop down, and then shoot up in price. That's very interesting. So maybe we're using FootWiz today to look through a lot of these cards. Does it have price ranges listed on here? It does not. Okay. Um, but it's showing that there are some prices. 16,000 coins updated three hours ago. All right. So I think what we're going to be looking today is probably using more of FootWiz for their price feature more than FootBin unless Footbin gets it updated fast, because Footbin right now has no prices on what all I'm seeing, but FootWiz does. So 
that is very interesting. Again, watch out for those team of the week cards like Vinicius, like Holland, depending on what their price ranges are. You don't want to buy a Vinicius for like 30K and expect them to go up if his price range is only like 35,000 coins, that wouldn't be worth it. But of course, Holland's price range is probably going to be more than 170. And if it's not, I would just buy the card anyway, because 170 is just a little bit too cheap for that, in my opinion. So again, it's going to be a crazy, crazy day today. You, we've talked about it. We've gone over the videos. You guys know what to do. Open those welcome backpacks. Get into some of the advanced SBCs and just get on the game, right? Start trading, start flipping cards. What's going to be a, a mad dash today is just going to be a mad dash for those starter players, guys like Lacroix, guys like Malin, who we already looked at, you know, guys like maybe some of these like non-rare Quincy Promes, like Verissimo, Pepe, Vertonghen, Gravenberch, Gerson, Onyeka, some of the cards that are being talked about right now. Those are going to be the ones that people are going after really quick, really fast to try to get into their teams. But again, don't be in such a hurry that you feel stressed out. Make sure that you have fun today, whether you are doing FIFA points, whether you are not. One thing to watch out for again today is if you can actually add FIFA points on the app. Um, I think regardless today, we know that we're going to have some pack supply and coins being put on the market. Uh, if you're somebody that wants to trade on a high level with some icons um, or some really high rated players in some of the informs, the informs actually trading with team of the week cards. We haven't talked about this too much. I want to cover this today just for a second is trading with team of the week cards is absolutely phenomenal. So when people get on the game today, when team of the week one is out there, will, they will get supplied in packs right around 6 p.m. UK. If that is the normal release time, we're kind of assuming that it is. Watch out for any meta cards. I remember last year, this Chucky Lozano card was like 20,000 coins right away. And he exploded to like 70, 80 90,000 coins over 100k. So keep an eye on some of these team of the week one cards that may drop today. Even a guy like Holland, like we pointed out, like a Vinicius Jr., whoever the featured team of the week item is, if it's Ivan Tony, um, if it's Sar, there's tons and tons and tons of options today. But watch out for team of the week cards. Again, the kind of the idea today is that it's probably going to be a good amount of supply early, right? Supply early because people are going to open their packs first and then go out and buy some cards with the coins. Now, yes, there's going to be continual supply as people who have a lot of FIFA points are still opening packs, but um, those coins are going to start to overtake the market and everybody's going to start going for those meta players and you're going to see the most popular cards that people are building in their teams just start to go up as people start to play games. So it's going to be a crazy, crazy day. Again, I'm going to be live on Twitch. Link down below in the description. We'll be playing FIFA 22 for a long time today. And it's finally here, boys. The wait is over. The game is here. Hopefully the servers can stick up and not absolutely die because again, with EA Play and the web app today, it might be really finicky. It might be really glitchy. So be ready to F5 on that keyboard and refresh the page and be ready to look inside of here for EA Play inside the PlayStation Store once again um, and look for this the, the EA Sports FIFA trial to show up down here alongside Madden. Download the game and you should be good to go. But today's the day, boys. I'm freaking excited. I'm so stoked. If you're stoked, let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. For the first time in FIFA 22, it is Nate the Foot Accountant, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.